the visiting Boston Celtics. At power forward, Al Horford. At center, Kristaps Porzingis. At point guard, Drew Holiday. At guard, Jalen Brown. At forward, Jason Tatum. The head coach of the visiting team is Joe Mazzula. the 2K Sports are as we get ready to start the season in style. Alongside Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll be joined by Ali LaForce courtside. And here's the upcoming schedule for the New York Knicks. On Friday, they'll be playing against Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. Then on Saturday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. The road is never the highlight of your schedule for any team. But for these guys, it is a chance to go out there, test themselves, and see how well they gel outside of home court. It could be a very valuable experience. And the starting group for the Celtics. The star wing pair. It's Brown and Tatum outside. Horford at the four with Porzingis at the five. And it's Holiday in a point guard. And for the Knicks, Barrett is the three, Randall the four. Then there's Jalen Brunson. Then there's Mitchell Robinson. And it's Grimes in a two-guard. Opening day in the NBA. What a feeling. Richard, what stood out to you about your first NBA game of the Nets? Look, I'm not going to brag and all, but did I come off the bench and get 12 points? Yes. Did we win the game? Yes. So, look, it was a good start for me, a humble beginning. But, yeah, it was that, that's what stood out to me. I got double digits in the a shot that Randall has added to his repertoire. Shooting the three with confidence now. Brown scanning the floor. Oh, and a dunk by Brown! Was it just me or was there a little bit extra on that slam by Brown? Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Brunson in his last outing with 12 points. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. And the foul called on Kristaps Porzingis. That's his first foul. Well, they've got their eyes on him. Calling the foul right away. Brunson against Holiday. Just five on the clock. For three, Randall. Yeah, just a great understanding of the game. Horford's defensive positioning is perfect. 
Tatum against Barrett. Porzingis sets a screen. Here's Tatum. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. And even in a short time of the NBA, Tatum has become the model wing for the modern NBA, RJ. Yeah, he does everything so well. Shooting, defense, playmaking, you name it, this man has it. He gives you everything you want and need in that wing position. And that one falls for Tatum. And talk about consistency, RJ. Boston has made the Eastern Conference Finals five out of the last seven years. Yeah, that's pretty phenomenal, especially since some of their best players are still developing. I know a guy that thinks that they haven't been very good for a very long time, but I know what Celtics fans want. They want a ring, but they should still feel very proud of what this young team has accomplished. And so he makes both from the line. The last few seasons, the Knicks have had a defensive-minded approach. And that's been the key for them getting back into the postseason, B.A. I mean, they play great team defense and pride themselves on getting stops. Now here's Brunson. Gets the three ball to go. You know, some threes look better than others, and Brunson's lefty stroke from three is a beautiful thing. Brunson against Holiday. Tatum inside, back to Holiday. Outside, Brown lets the three fly. It's hauled in by Robinson. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Here's Grimes, hounded by Tatum. Tatum with the block. The all-star Tatum engaged on defense. That's a scary sight for opponents. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Randall. The three. Jalen Brown with a rebound. Randall's gone one for three on the night. Brown passes to Tatum. Screen by Horford. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. And Tatum, the Jason bucket Tatum. on the assist by Horford. Tatum's got five. Strong from three-point land. Tatum is about a 40% shooter from deep. That's impressive. Barrett against Tatum. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That one on Tatum. Well, Grant for R.J. Barrett. Pretty much knew he was going to be an NBA player. Oh, B.A., he sure did. And the number one prospect out of high school in Florida in 2018. Did his one and done in college at Duke and followed it up with the number three overall pick. And he has definitely delivered. Well, Boston's been a franchise that has sustained winning, Richard. Yeah, B.A., look, they've had down years like anyone, but they don't have down decades. And the Celtics, they replenish as fast as any team outside of maybe their rival Lakers. And with Barrett, we know he can score the ball. Now he must focus on becoming a better passer and facilitator. And it's Tatum missing. The Knicks have gone two for five here in the first. Barrett against Tatum. Robinson, a screen on Tatum. The three, Barrett, hits the trifecta. I like how selective Barrett is with taking threes. It's a big reason why he shoots a good percentage. Pass to Porzingis. Porzingis with a screen on Barrett. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Second team foul. Grant, there is some magic here in New York. One of the best home court advantages in the NBA. Well, B.A., you have to think about the history of this building. It's incredible. I mean, when the Knicks are playing even remotely well, this place is rocking. talented swingman Tatum just continues to get better and better each year 
And Brunson's got the ball here for the Knicks. To the middle. Robinson passes to Grimes. And here's Robinson. Five to shoot. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. Barrett can't hit. Boston's gone one for three from beyond the arc. Pass to Holiday. Back to Brown. This one for three. Knocks down the long K. Brown's got five. He can do a lot with the ball, but Brown is just as good playing off the ball. He's always ready to catch and fire. Here's Brunson. Now here's Randall. Here's Grimes. No made baskets yet. Here's Brunson outside. Sends it home from three-point land. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Brown, no good. <laughs> That's exactly how you have to defend them on the perimeter. Can't allow any space. A three, Randall. Tatum pulls it in. For Boston, they've gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. From 12 feet, the Knicks with the rebound. Well, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. Pass to Brunson. Randall outside. Brunson, a screen on Horford. The three, Randall. Got it. Two for five now. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. Even on the edge of my seat, Portside, man, this has been a barn burner. Now here's Tatum. In his last outing, he had 11 points. Pass to Holiday. And here's Horford for three. Man, the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. You see the great fundamentals. Horford sets up for the quick shot off the feed. No hesitation. Outside Brunson. Outside Barrett. And here's Randall. Outside Robinson. And here's Brunson from the arc. Horford pulls it in. For Boston, they've gone five of nine from the floor. Pass to Brown. Back to Horford. And the layup falls. Horford's got five points. Not just being selfless, but also smart with the ball. Brown is able to find the best guy for the right shot. And here's Randall. His last outing, he had 20. Here's Brown. And it's Boston scoring again. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Richard, we saw a new look for Jalen Brown in 2023. But injury forced him to don a mask. Yeah, face masks are kind of infamous right now. Some guys struggle with them, some guys are defined by it. Didn't seem to bother Brown that much. I will give him that. The Knicks making a switch here. Quickly he's checked in. White, he's checked in for Boston. Quickly against Holiday. Pass to Grimes. Now Barrett. Shoots over Brown. Shot is good by Barrett. He's got six. And I love the confidence from Barrett. He enjoys finding room inside and capitalizing. Out of bounds. It'll be New York's ball. And a quick check now on the teams that led the league from the charity stripe a year ago. The fourth spot held by the Celtics. Yeah, last season, this team had very few weak links at the free throw line. And that consistency added up to a sizable advantage. Holiday against Quickly. Randall a screen on Holiday. Quickly drives in. For three, Randall. He can't get that one to fall. Okay, let's just say it. This has been an ugly quarter for him. Not quite a break of mirror ugly, but it's getting there. Holiday passes to Horford. 
and the foul Next called on R.J. Barrett. RJ That'll be a second foul of the game. Second, no Picking foul. up that second foul third early is tough. He'll have to be careful, and we'll see how much coach trust him to not get that third. DiVincenzo against White. Five on the clock. Offline with a three. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for Rain. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Quickly outside. Randall outside. Takes the three. Offensive rebound. And he gets the bucket. And it's a tie ball game. He knows his job on the glass, and he does it well, cleaning it up and sending it right back. Here's Brown, and he drops it in from the low post. Brown's got nine. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. Quickly, outside, inside, Hartenstein. Boston with a rebound. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Knicks team. Last year, this team got the better of them in the season series. So they're looking to correct that. Now here's White. 15 in his last outing. There's the drive. Here's Hauser. Sinks it from distance. Hauser. And it's a five-point Celtic lead. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. against Steven Tento. Hardenstein passes to quickly. And he misses his first shot. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Pass to Pritchard. Over quickly. Here's Cornette. It's deflected. Randall outside. And he jams it after taking a nice feed on the run. Yeah, never a bad idea to have Randall with the ball. Just a great passing forward. Brown against Hart. 11 feet out. Here's Cornette. And he's in the books. Now one for two. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. Yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. Now here's Randall. He's got six. Nothing just seems to be bouncing his way today. Mama said there'd be days like this. They have missed his production. Quickly against Brown. There's a screen. It's rebounded by New York. Randall's got four rebounds in the game. Back to Hart. There's the triple. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. 27, 25. Brown against Hart. Pass to Hauser. Fires the three. Can't get it to drop. Randall with some nice D. Down low. Here's Hart. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. Hart's got five points. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. White with it. DiVincenzo covering. White, the pass to Brown. Jacks up a three. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hartenstein's got four rebounds now. Grab that one. However, so far they're getting a little out-hustled on the boards. outside looking to end this cold spell not going to go that time it's a tie game in New York quarter number two coming up right after this break don't go anywhere the Celtics 27 
good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. All right, guys, what's your take on the Knicks so far? Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. And as long as the threes are dropping, you've got to keep launching them. They've got Josh Hart. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Jalen Brunson. Then it's Dante DiVincenzo, and it's Hartenstein in at the five. That's the group for New York starting the second. Six to shoot. Pritchard. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. New York trailing. Brunson taking his time here. Puts it up. In close. He hits it. Hartenstein's got six points. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Knicks. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. The Celtics are battle-tested and asked what comes from that experience. Jalen Brown said, quote, poise. Being able to see and read the game. Our offense has been able to take leaps by understanding the game and what they want to take away and just letting the game decide. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's been the key. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Tatum. Cornette sets a screen. Shoot from the baseline. Count that bucket. He's got 10. The defense must be aware of where Tatum is, especially when he's roaming around that mid-range. Brunson passes to Hartenstein. Back to Brunson. Tatum against Steven Chenzo. Just five to shoot. To the inside. Here's Hartenstein. Right through the D for the layup. Hartenstein's got four points in the quarter. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Now here's White. No points yet. Over Hart. White can't hit. Quickly outside. The three is up. Here's Hartenstein. Out to DiVincenzo. That one rolls around and rims out. And Hartenstein gets it to go. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Pass to Tatum. 4-3. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hardenstein's got eight rebounds in the game. DiVincenzo with it. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Here's Hardenstein. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Now it's a four-point Nick lead. And Grant is someone whose career spanned eras. You feel playing defense is more difficult than it was two decades ago? Oh, B.A., it's much more difficult. In part, because the contact allowed is much more strict. Shooters can create contact and be rewarded with free throws. And the skill level on offense has truly raised. It makes it tough for the defender to really get down and play that tough nose defense. And the Knicks with the possession here. After the basket by Boston. And Hartenstein gets it to go. Hartenstein's got 14 points. Impressive. Their ball movement has been excellent tonight. Tatum finds White. Here's Pritchard. Now Tatum. He's got 10. Tatum on the drive. Pass to Hauser. Here's Pritchard. The three-pointer off the mark. The Knicks with the lead. Here's Hart. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Seven points in the game. It was working here. Each guy is willing to make the next pass. The Celtics have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Here's Cornette. Back to White. Over quickly. White can't hit. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Hart passes to Brunson. Outside, DiVincenzo. Oh, he picked him clean! To the paint. Tipped away. DiVincenzo with the steal. 
Here's quickly. Sinks that one from the post. And the Knicks lead by eight. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Fires from deep. Pritchard gets it to go. Pritchard. Pritchard's got five points now in the quarter. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Taking a look back at last season, the team leaders in rebounding. In third, the Knicks. And they, of course, have a style of play that is all about physicality. I mean, they love to embrace the contact out on the court. But the possession game for them is always pivotal. And he drops it first for the Knicks. Robinson, he's checked in for DiVincenzo. And it's Grimes in for quickly. off on the second and so it's Tatum who brings up the ball for the Celtics pass to Holiday back to Tatum Porzingis with a screen on Hart there's Tatum with the three the Knicks pull it in Hartenstein's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one Brunson against Holiday Hart with a screen on Holiday Brunson passes to Robinson. And a big finish by Robinson. And the fine by Brunson. More than capable of running the offense. Austin Trailer. Holiday with the ball. No points so far. They kick it out to Porzingis. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. This is that modern big man play. Tall guys who are comfortable draining shots from deep. Holiday against Brunson. Pass to Hartenstein. Boom! He jams it straight down. You know, there aren't many players who are more efficient in the pick and roll than Jalen Brunson. I mean, he has mastered that set. Boston's gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. And the Celtics call time here. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. Randall, he's checked in for New York. R.J. Barrett comes in for Hart. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. Brown comes in for White. Once again, fans, make some noise for your Knicks City Anchor. Outside, Brown. Porzinga sets a screen. Three-pointer. Yes! Kristaps showing some range. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's Grimes, defended by Brown. Brunson against Holiday. Grimes' shot is off. <laughs> that is a disaster. Honestly, I'm embarrassed for him. Tatum drills the three. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Brunson against Holiday. Randall a screen on Holiday. Brunson passes to Randall. To the right side. Here's Grimes. Still without a bucket. Drills it from deep. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You train a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now here's Tatum. Trailing by four. Outside Brunson. Oh, look at Jalen Brunson. Don't let that size fool you. You know, one of Brunson's many skills is his ability to absorb contact. Barrett against Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Barrett. Outside Porzingis. Off target from three-point range. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. With his size and skill set, Julius Randle can be a walking mismatch. You put a big man on him, and he will blow right by him. Now, if you go small, he'll drag him to the block. So when Randle is focused and involved, he is a monster to deal with. And a big 
back. Finished by Robinson. Oh, nothing soft about that. It was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. And that's his MLB physical. Get in position for the putback and throw it down. The defense got to know that's what he's looking to do. Here's Porzingis following the bucket by the Knicks. Tatum can't hit. He's cold from distance here in the second quarter. He may want to try a different approach moving forward. Brunson against Holiday. Brunson passes to Robinson. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. You know what I appreciate about Mitchell Robinson is his defense and how well he uses his length, Grant. You know, he is so good, B.A., at getting positioning to alter shots. And he finds ways to come up with a number of blocks not to mention how active he is on the glass. The first free throw is good. Quickly is checked in for New York. And the Celtics also making a change. White, he's checked in for Tatum. And both free throws good for Robinson. And you look at two-way players who split time between the NBA and G League, they become important to roster construction, RJ. It is, but I think also that the NBA has to make sure that these guys are taken care of because they're less expensive, so they end up having to do this bouncing back and forth. And you can have three guys shuffling back and forth. It's given a lot of young players an opportunity to prove themselves, Nick. but I still think that the team needs to make sure that they're taken care of. At 7'3", Porzingis is a problem. Really makes defenses settle for fouling him and hoping he misses. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Knicks. The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass. And not only that, they're off to a pretty hot start shooting from outside. They seem locked in tonight. Both shots good from the strike. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay for the line. Horford against Randall. Shoots over Horford, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That's on Al Horford. Inside, you have to try something to stop Randall, but he gets physical right back and draws a good shooting foul. First free throw is good. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. And Randall drops them both. Certain guys can remake their games to fit the times. Randall's worked on his right hand and his jump shooting. He's a much more versatile threat now at the offensive end. Austin again missing. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Randall a screen on Horford. Barrett with it. Now Horford defending. Quickly outside. Clock at six. Randall a screen on Holiday. Quickly from outside. Called in by Brown. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Porzingis with a screen on Randall. Here's Brown. First half, two minutes. Orford passes to Brown. Now here's Holiday. Right side, Porzingis. Over Robinson. Look at Porzingis using that height inside. Well within range for Porzingis. The Latvian probably was sinking these since he was young. Here's Barrett. The shot, no good. Brown with some nice D. White finds Holiday. 
Outside, Brown. Back to Holiday. Over quickly. And the basket by Holiday. Holiday's got his first two points of the night. Always reading the angles. Holiday's able to find his shot. Quickly against Holiday. Back to quickly. Horford against Randall. Robinson a screen on Horford for three. Randall on target from range. Randall's got 11 points. This brings him to three total makes from the arc with just one in this half so far. Holiday against quickly. Pass to Brown. Here's Holiday. Pulls up high post to the middle. Porzingis. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got four assists in the game. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Randall passed it quickly. And here's Robinson. That one falls. Give him eight. Nice feed inside. Softly played the fella and hit him right when he needed to. Three. Outside, Brown. Here's the three. Oh, that's a buzzer! Wow! I didn't think he was going to get it off in time. Oh, wow. Talk about being poised under pressure. Big time shot from him there. And so it's New York leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And, Tom, what's it going to take down the stretch to win this ballgame? I think just tough defense, take good shots, not turn the ball over, play smart. Back to the basics. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. Thank we will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. Thank you for joining us. Getting right to the story. Things are going well for the New York Knicks. How about that ball movement? So often we see guys dribble, 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 and make themselves easy to defend. Not this team. Not in the first half. Passing up good shots for great shots. That's what we're talking about right now. And now let's take a moment to look into the future. Here's the upcoming schedule. You look at the Celtics. At this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do better than last year? Happens for us, too. Kenny, you cook up any new approaches in the offseason? Well, I'm going to reveal those, you know, over time, not just all in one sitting. But you're right. There is an opportunity to stretch and experiment. See what's working and what isn't. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. We've got action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Here's Holiday. Kicking off the second half. Here's Joe Mazzula's five. Horford at the four with Porzingis at the five. The star wing pair. It's Brown and Tatum outside. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. And it's Tatum missing. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And it's going to be a goaltending call here. So they will count the bucket. Yeah, it was just a little late. I mean, he thought he got there, but the ref saw it otherwise. And it's Holiday with the ball for the Boston Celtics. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. 
Well, R.J. Barrett, the third overall pick in the 2019 draft, still a long way away from his prime. He said, quote, people think you should make this huge leap out of nowhere. And it's like if you just add one or two things to your game and just get better every year steadily, you are going to get where you want to go, whether it comes right away or it comes later. Brian? Allie, thanks. Now here's Barrett. Can't cash in the 10-footer. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. Pass to Brown. Three-pointer. Yes! Great play by Horford to set him up. Brown's got 15. One of the premier scoring wings in the NBA, Jalen Brown, is at it again. Randall is screen on Holiday, and here's Brunson from the arc. Porzingis grabs the board. The Celtics have gone just one of three in the second half. Now here's Holiday. Outside Porzingis. There's Tatum with the three. And again, Boston with the triple. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Holiday against Brunson. Handle the screen on Holiday. The three. Brunson misses. Since halftime, they've missed three of their first four shots. Still trying to get their legs under them. Porzingis passes to Holiday. And he lobs it up to the rim. Robinson with a steal. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. First personal foul. First team foul. Quentin Grimes. At the line, two shots. The first one falls. Good on both. And the Celtics in possession here. Trailing by four. Porzingis with a screen on Barrett. Porzingis up top. Six on the shot clock. Oh, Robinson with a block. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Outside Brunson. Great finish inside by Brunson. Finding a way through with his quickness. Brunson gets it done in more ways than one. Outside, Brown. Tatum finds Brown. Back to Tatum. Look at Tatum using his length. That's from I love seeing Tatum exhibit the passion that he has shown us tonight. Such a motivated performance by him. Here's Grimes, defended by Brown. And Porzingis with the block. Tatum feeling it out a bit. Pass to Horford. Over Brunson. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Grimes, the pass to Barrett. Outside Brunson. A sturdy finish from Brunson. A flashy ball handler at times. Brunson knows how to carve up scoring opportunities for himself. Randall with a steal. And now the Knicks on the break. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Al Horford. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Knicks. Jalen, you've got to be impressed with how assertive they are on offense. Continuing to cut hard to the rim time and time again. Well, in addition, I love their passing. I mean, they're buying into that team concept. That's hard to get out of your young guys. Both 
12 free throws. Good from Brunson. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. The Celtics have gone three of seven here in this third quarter. They get the rebound. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Here's Grimes, defended by Brown. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more and they'll be over the limit. And out of bounds, Boston will have it. Boston. While we have a moment, let's check out the highest scoring teams in the league last season. The fourth spot held by the Celtics. And last year, I liked watching this team operate on the offensive end. The ball movement, the patience, the confidence. You love seeing all that come together. Pass to Porzingis. And Jalen Brunson gets the whistle that time. Jalen Brunson. That's his first foul first of the game. Foul. First team foul. Outside, Brown. There's Tatum with the three. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass, really getting after it and being physical. Now here's Brunson. He's got 14. Down low. And stolen by Porzingis. Now the Celtics on the move. And the ball out of play. The Knicks will have it. Hart's checked in for Barrett. The Celtics also with a sub. White's checked in. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Brunson against Holiday. The 11-footer. Check out Brunson going to work inside. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. And so it's Holiday who brings up the ball for the Celtics. It's a 10-point game. Tatum, a screen on Hart. Pass to Holiday. To the inside. The Knicks with the rebound. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. And here's Robinson. Randall outside. Here's Hart. Shot clock at six. Randall, the pass to Brunson. Puts the move on, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Boston Hall. Boston has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. On the wing, Tatum. Back to Holiday to get back on track. Sinks the tray. Holiday. Holiday's got five points. points. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Now here's Randall. He's got 11. It's hard on the wing. Defended by Brown. Hart passes to Robinson. The rebound, Celtics. Brown's got six rebounds in the game. Tatum draws the double. Brown finds Tatum. Back to Brown. Now here's Tatum. Holiday looking for an opening. Outside White. And again, Boston with the triple. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Brunson passes to Robinson. 
Randall against Tatum. Here's Brunson outside. That's it. Coming off an assist from Randall. Randall's got his fourth assist with that last one. And no matter how the D's coming at him tonight, Brunson has adapted. And that's what great scores do. They figure it out. Now here's Brown. He's got 15. Porzingis with a screen on Hart. Here's Brown. Robinson with the block. And he gets it back. A nice shot by Tatum. And now with two three-pointers in each half, he's really doing his all to help his team out from deep. Pass to Hart. It's stolen by Holiday. Brown with it over Hart. Oh, look at Brown banging inside. They're doing the job on both ends, getting stops and attacking offensively. All the momentum seems to be running in their favor. They're close to taking the lead. Here's Brunson. 11 feet out, and he hits it. Brunson's got 21 points in the game. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. Hard against Brown. Pass to Tatum. Shot clock at five. Here's Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. But it took them a little while to get there. Just goes to show as long as you persevere, you'll figure your way out. Now here's Hart. He's got seven. Back to Brunson. Lays it up and banks it in. Brunson's got 15 points in just the second half. Inside Brunson is pretty deadly. Just dropping his shot in. Well, when Josh Hart gets going, his confidence skyrockets, Grant. That seems to be the key for him. Well, his floor game is special regardless. I mean, the rebounding and defense are his bread and butter, B.A. And when he's hitting shots, he becomes the complete package on the wing. Now here's Robinson. Give him eight points now. And stolen by Brown. Here's Tatum. Tatum drops the hammer. Tatum just has too much bounce right there. Better be careful you're trying to stop that. And so it's Brunson who brings up the ball for the Knicks. They've led by as much as ten. Randall right side. Shoots over Tatum. Randall, pass to Brunson, lock it four. And here's Robinson, hook it, and it's Randall with the assist. Robinson's got ten points in the game. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. Yeah, the second half in stark contrast with the first. Coach must have gotten on them a little bit at halftime. And the Celtics call time here. So for the Knicks. Hardenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. DiVincenzo comes in for Grimes. And quickly subbed in for Jalen Brunson. We've got 128 left in the third. White, the pass to Hauser. And Dante DiVincenzo is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Twenty-four left in the third. White for three. Oh, how about White from the next time zone? He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Here's Randall. Sweet little floater. Thirteen points in the game. A pretty lefty shot by Randall. I just love a good teardrop. Pass to Brown. 50 seconds left to play in the third. Clock at six. Cornette passes to Hauser. Oh, it misses! Had a chance to tie it. Hart finds quickly. He shoots. And it's Cornette with a rebound. Cornette's got six rebounds in the game. against Hart. Right side white. For the tie. 
Three-pointer goes up. Three-pointer goes down for White. Here in the third, he's really started to heat up from the perimeter. Now here's Randall. Defense is right there. Takes a three. No good there. And we wrap up the third, and it looks like it's going to be an exciting fourth. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. And let's take this opportunity to show you our two-guard spot. An unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. And from a team perspective, having your off-guard rip-off passes like that, it's awesome. It shows you have guys willing to give up the rock. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ballgame. Randall and Hartenstein together down low. Jalen Brunson is out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Hart in at the three. The small forward. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Brunson misses. The Celtics shooting efficiently. 50% so far. Left side Tatum to take the lead. Randall pulls down the board. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. Here's quickly. Cook it. And it's Randall with the assist. Randall's got his sixth assist of the night. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. And it's Tatum missing. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. White against quickly. Back to Randall. And he converts the layup. And now a four-point New York lead. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Tatum against Hart. Outside White. Puts up a three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Randall's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And that one's good, quickly. Looks like they're gaining some confidence here in crunch time. Building out this lead brick by brick. They have taken a very good approach. And the Celtics call time here. Call time out. The Knicks are making a switch here. DiVincenzo's checked in. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Over the break, I listened in on Joe Mazzulli's huddle. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Now here's Brunson. Inside, Hart banked it in off the glass. And the Knicks lead by nine. And adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, they've locked in during this stretch. If they keep it up, their lead will only continue to grow. Pass to White. Cornette sets a screen. Here's Pritchard. They need this. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Three points. Tatum's got his fourth assist in this one. Intelligent play by Tatum. Moving the ball to get an open shot. Now here's quickly. Now here's DiVincenzo. And again, New York with the triple. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You train to go nuts and I'm running for my revenge. Hauser passes to Tatum. It doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by DiVincenzo. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. They're making it look easy out there, just having fun. Man, their offense is clicking. Players, coaches, everybody, they are in sync. Now here's White. 
from nine feet. DiVincenzo with a steal. And here we go. The Knicks in transition. Ripped down the breakaway slam. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine. Getting any look they want. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. White, the pass to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Here's Cornette. Ooh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. Here's Pritchard. Left side White. White coming through! Well, after an uneven first half, he's managed to right the ship and get things going. Here's Brunson. To the paint. Here's Hardenstein. And it's Cornette with a rebound. Cornette's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Pritchard. Brunson defending. Pritchard, the pass to White. Launches a three. Pure from three-point range. White's got five points in the quarter. In the second half, we've seen him refocus his shooting. Much fewer wasted possessions. Outside Hart. Back to Brunson. From deep. And Hart with a basket. On the assist by Brunson. Whoa, that man is laser focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. Effort like this makes you wonder if they've already packed it in for the game, ready to go into the next. Got to at least show a little heart out here. And if they want to mount a comeback here, they need him to get going. It's just that simple. Quickly passes to Hartenstein. Unable to get that one. For Boston, they've gone four for ten in the fourth. Here's Pritchard. Pass to White. Here's Cornette. There's the three. Pritchard, no good. New York has gone four of four from outside during the fourth. And that one's good, quickly. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. Knicks want to get the ball to the guys and make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. How many shots has he missed this quarter? Might be time to find offense elsewhere. Back to Hart. DiVincenzo on the wing. Here's Hardenstein. Outside Brunson. Boston side. Sam Hartenstein. For the Knicks. First Sims comes in for Hardenstein. And it's Grimes in for DiVincenzo. Drew Holiday's checked in for Boston. White against Quickly. Five to shoot. Let's a floater go. The shot won't fall. Good work defensively by White. Ooh, excellent D there from Quickly. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. Next up, they'll face the Hawks in Atlanta. It'll be the start of a three-game trip on the road. Hart finds Brunson. Throws it up high. Tatum with a steal. To stop the drought. And the layup is up and in. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can threat him with the lead pass. Well done. Brunson against Holiday. Brunson passes to Sims. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Jericho Sims. At the line, two shots. And he can't get the first one. So for the Knicks, Julius Randle's checked in for Hart. And it's R.J. Barrett in for Quickly. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. 
Boston shooting only 36% since the fourth quarter started. Holiday passes to Horford. Pass to Brown. Puts up a deep three. That one no good. And the Knicks shooting a fantastic 57%. And here's Brunson. From outside the arc. And it's Randall with the jam. Extra on that slam, entertaining the fans and the broadcasters. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Well, the Celtics shooting 47% on this one, looking efficient. Barrett against Tatum. Horford, a screen on Barrett. There's Tatum with the three. Fires in the triple. Tatum's got 13 in the second half. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Brunson passes to Randall. Randall draws the double. Here's Grimes. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. And Boston has possession. Trailing by 10. Holiday passes to Tatum, puts it up from 12, over Barrett, and the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Mitchell Robinson, he's checked in for New York. New York shooting just a phenomenal clip. 59% here in the fourth. Randall outside. Robinson, a screen on Horford. For three, Randall. Here's Robinson. And he battles for the ball. Gets the second chance bucket. And the Knicks lead by nine. And they've committed to controlling the boards. And it's paying dividends. Tatum with it. Randall's in his pocket. A nice shot by Tatum. Tatum's got 31. For his sake, I hope they can come back. You hate to see the performance he's having be wasted in a loss. Here's Grimes. Defended by Brown. Yes, sir! Brunson for three. Pretty much the second Brunson gets the ball, he's into motion. And that's how it's done. Tatum against Barrett from 18 feet away, and it's Tatum missing. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Pass to Brunson. Got it. Good job in the low post. Brunson's got five points now this quarter. Now, he may only be six foot one, but Brunson plays much bigger than that. I mean, he plays with a physicality. Barrett against Tatum. Now here's Porzingis. Ooh, Porzingis using that length in the paint. Given Porzingis' overwhelming size, sometimes solid defense isn't enough, especially this close to the rim. Randall finds Robinson. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. No foul. 13 foul. Mitchell Robinson at the line. Two shots. And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. He hits the second from the line. And Tatum's got the ball here for the Celtics.
107 left in the fourth quarter. Off target on the outside leaner. Well, now it's just a matter of watching the sand fall through the hourglass. This game is wrapped up in a strong showing for the Knicks. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And against a familiar opponent, it's nice to establish a psychological advantage with the win in the first game. And propelling them to a solid win, it was a night of big plays for Julius Randle. He really influenced the game with his rebounding. Just a stellar performance. With all the work he put in, he's going to sleep well tonight. Shot clock at two. Robinson with the block. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation is the buzzer sound. Substitution on the court. Seventeen seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Di Vincenzo against White. Now here's Di Vincenzo. And so it's the Knicks taking care of business in this one. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. You're so true. They put on a show here at home, and I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. And that'll do it for this inaugural game of the NBA season. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you.